Happy Friday, guys. We have Sebastian here uh, demoing this week, so please give him a shout out in the comments below to show your appreciation. Friday's warm up starts with one minute easy bike. When we're biking, we wanna make sure we have good posture so we're not looking down, we're not letting our head bounce side to side, and we're not shifting our weight side to side excessively. After you finish your one minute bike, you'll go to the floor and perform a one minute hollow hold to warm up the midline. So lay down, hands and feet squeezed together, shoulders are off the ground. Then pick up a single dumbbell. You're gonna perform bent over dumbbell row. 30 seconds on one arm, followed by 30 seconds on the other. So Sebastian lowers his chest, keeps his lower back straight, and without using any momentum or kipping, pulls the um, dumbbell so it touches the side of his chest. Then you'll perform a second round of one minute on the bike, increase the speed a little bit for this one, then we'll go into an arch hold. Perfect. Now he's just showing off. Okay, one minute arch hold. He's laying face down, also called a Superman, yep. Pick up the thighs, pick up the chest off the ground. Then pick up your single dumbbell again and perform 30 seconds per arm, dumbbell strict shoulder press. So keep the lower body locked out, press the dumbbell to extension overhead. At the top, we wanna to see the uh, biceps or shoulder close to the ear, making sure the arm's locked out all the way. After you finish your active warmup, we'll do our mobility. We have 45 seconds per side in a banded hamstring stretch. Lay down on your back, loop a band over the foot, use it to uh, pull your foot back a little higher um, as you hold that 45 seconds. After your 45 seconds per leg, move. After your 45 second hamstring stretch, then we'll do a 45 second banded lat stretch. Loop a band on a uh, pull-up bar, step back into a uh, bend at the waist, and then step the same leg as your banded arm back and across behind the other one to stretch out all along the upper back and the side. Friday's workout is called Big Drip. 20 minutes, as many rounds as possible. Start with a 200 meter run. When you finish your 200 meters, you'll hop right onto a bike, perform 16 calories for men, 12 calories for the ladies. This should be a quantity that you can complete in about one minute so we can keep the intensity pretty high and keep from getting stuck. After you finish your bike, we're gonna perform 12 chest to bar pull-ups. It can be helpful to have a little wider grip than your traditional pull-ups to help extend the chest up to make contact with the bar. So notice Sebastian opens his hips as he pulls his chest to make contact at the top. After your pull-ups, you're gonna perform eight heavy single arm dumbbell snatches. The dumbbell starts on the floor between the feet, both heads on the ground, Sebastian grabs a dumbbell, makes sure his chest is up to keep his back straight, stands tall, pulls and drops under the dumbbell. He should be heavy, so it's gonna be a better option to switch hands on the ground rather than have to worry about switching hands overhead. Challenge yourself with the weight on the dumbbell today. Friday's home gym variation will be a 20 minute AMRAP. Start with a 400 meter run and then 30 single dumbbell hang power snatches. So once you pick up the dumbbell, it does not have to return to the floor, it just goes between the legs. You're going to do five arms on one arm and then five reps on the next arm. So extend the hips upwards, keep the elbow pulled up and back, and then flip to get the, uh, to get the dumbbell locked out overhead. Then with a pair of dumbbells, we're gonna perform 20 double dumbbell plank rows. Keep the dumbbells shoulder width. You're gonna be in a push-up plank on top, alternate sides, pull the dumbbell until it makes contact with the chest. You're going 10 on each arm, 20 reps total, continue for a full 20 minutes. Have fun with this one. Friday's uh, accessory work will be handstand walk practice. This is a repeat from last week. We're trying to improve a little bit. You have five rounds. You're gonna perform a 15 or 12 calorie bike or row or any machine. Then you're gonna pick an option. You can do a 50 foot handstand walk, or a 25 foot handstand walk or one minute of handstand walk practice. 
First option is just to kick upside down against the wall and work on holding that for a full minute. If you're feeling strong there, you can start to lift the hands one at a time, alternating side, small hand lifts. And then if you're able to keep your balance, you can work on the full shoulder taps. Let's see if Sebastian can do a shoulder tap. Nice, all right, two reps, solid. Okay guys, have fun, work on those handstands. See y'all tomorrow.